Hey guys, Kenyon here. In this video, I'm gonna take you guys on a quick tour of the major apps that I use as a student. As a high school student, I think all these apps are extremely essential to me and I use these on a daily basis. Now it is August, which means most of you guys have just started another year of school or just about to start another year. I'm gonna show you guys the apps and programs I use the most. These are both on my laptop and my phone and they allow me to be a more successful student. And of course, if you guys like- Oh my God, what is that? Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And without further ado, let's just get right into it. Now, first things first, starting off with the most essential stuff. When it comes to typing assignments for school, my first choice is Google Documents. There are a lot of typing programs out there, but personally, my favorite one to use is Google Docs. The format is clean and simple. The best part about Google Docs is the fact that there are so many templates depending on what type of assignment you're doing. For example, I do a lot of essays for my English class, which I have to use MLA format for. In Docs, I can just go to their template gallery and select the MLA template and it will immediately set my essay to the MLA requirements. From the upper left hand corner to the double spacing, this template has got you covered for all of your English assignments. In addition to using Google Documents for my school assignments, I also use Google Docs to type up my scripts for the videos that you see on this channel. In conclusion, Google Documents is amazing and I recommend it for any type of student. Alright guys, so the next app that I want to talk about is something you guys probably already heard and that app is called Quizlet. This is a great study tool if you're studying for a quiz or an exam and any subject you can think of, this quiz has got it for you. I've been using this app for like the past three, four years at this point, and honestly, it's come in handy so many times uh, when I don't understand something or need a quick refresher for a quiz or exam I'm studying for. I remember my freshman year, I had to take a test on the book and I had a hard time understanding it. So when, what's, uh, what I did was I went to Quizlet, took a couple practice tests, did a couple flashcards, and when it came to the test, I knew everything and uh, I think the score I got was an 85%. So, thanks Quizlet. As a student, especially in this current predicament that we're in, I think that it's important to pace yourself and take breaks when needed. Whenever I have a break, I like to kick back and watch something that will take my mind off of school-related activities and try to watch something either on Netflix or YouTube. As of recently, I've been watching Matt Barnes and Stephen Jackson's podcast called All The Smoke, and it's really good. It's a, it's a podcast where several athletes and uh, professionals come in and just have fun and talk with each other. And my favorite one is the episode with uh, Shannon Sharp. Hearing Shannon's story is definitely motivating, and, and he's, a, he's a real humble dude, and, and I like hearing his, his upbringing. Uh, something that I also enjoyed watching was the Dreamville Revenge documentary. I found it super good. Uh, of course, I'm, I'm a big music head, so when it comes to shows or documentaries, uh, music related, I always hop on it. And I, I didn't regret it. I absolutely loved it. And if you're a music fan, if you're a J. Cole fan, Jid fan, then I highly suggest watching it. It was, it was really good. Again, I'm a super big music fan, so I listen to music any chance I get. And I, I like to take the time to listen to music when I'm studying or doing anything school related. Now, when it comes to music, my favorite app to use is Spotify, simply because their app is free and they have every song. I can't think of all of my favorite artists, but a few that come to mind are Drake, Party Next Door, Logic, The Weeknd, LA, and I listen to these artists like in any time I'm, I'm doing something school related. I think they're just they're just a good vibe. And of course, down in the description below, I'll link to you guys all of my favorite tracks, artists, and albums to listen to while I'm studying. I like listening to music personally because it helps me get the job done better. It allows me to focus more, and at the same time, it eases my stress. Uh, so anyways guys, that was just a quick rundown of the apps and programs that I use on my phone and computer uh, as a student. And I, I hope you guys found this video really useful. Uh, down in the description below, I'll list all of my tracks and favorite artists as well as give a couple of quick honorable mentions to some of the apps that I didn't say in this video. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's going to do it. And if you guys like this type of content and want to see more content like this, please make sure to 
like subscribe comment share all of that it really helps me out share this to your uh, to your student and um that's it my name is kenyan and i'll see you guys in the next one